Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, today we are going to be continuing our run with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Because I have been having a good time with it. And so, I want to keep playing it. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice sounds a little weird today. Not sure why. Probably because I'm just a little tired. But, I don't know. So, I'm getting the game loaded up real quick. And then we will switch on over to the live scene. How is everyone doing this morning? Doing good? That's good. I like to hear that. It is almost fully loaded. Just need to click. Right as a new song comes on. Alright, let's uh, pause that and switch on over. Hello! I feel like I'm shorter now than my camera. Hold on. Now I'm closer. Okay, there we go. Back to normal-ish. Alright. There we go. Camera's doing what it should be. So, yay. We will continue from where we left off. Not sure where that kitty just went. But I have a kitty in here now. And she left. Eventually. There we go. The initial load takes forever. Okay. I can speak with Burstan. Wasn't Basim with me? No, Basim went elsewhere. Maybe. I don't remember exactly. Each one of their backstories, and enough of them. 
Okay, this is where the bird what do you comes see? From. Okay, so he's in this building here. That helps. It seems Elderman Beerson has made this ruin his longhouse. His house. Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the Elderman of this Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, Pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sister on this side. My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent. My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. You! Gods will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit, but your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Okay. Essex. Essex arc started. Patience is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for Beer Stan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must Okay. But it's still an area of distrust for me. So I have to be careful of guards seeing me. Don't go back there, Winnie. You know better. Make sure I'm not going to run into any cards. If it's just one, I can do that and run away. Of 
for rations are full. I keep forgetting that, especially when I'm running, because all the HUD things go away, except for the compass and the quest. Show me. Yep. Just still top of the hill. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Wow, there's quite some damage. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were attacked by a beast, something strong enough to kill a horse. And have it be almost completely eaten. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Beeston still lives. Oh, that's a wolf track. I only saw the two paws in the front. And so I thought it was like some deer type thing. Be yeah, my okay. eyes soon. Yeah, I'm coming the right way. Beeston! Ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Ha! Your weapon strikes true. You think? Stand down! This is one Saxon you won't kill today. Gets the blood coursing! Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. So there. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I am Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my callous hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. <laughs> they will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There is pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. 
My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your things in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a pissed poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Beeston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes if narrowing at the sight of prey. Missing. I, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, yeah, prowl and swear. stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Beeston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must mark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people. Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. <laughs> Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beeston. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. When the months are coldest, the mistletoe is full-grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind. Good morning, Beck. How are ya? What do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? I'm doing good. Um He should put his own ham fist in his purse and contribute coin to the festival. Yes. You worry about the cost of such a festival, one that thanks God for our great harvest. Uh, contribute your own coin then. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Of course. We'll always shout out those that deserve a shout out. Um... Beware of sleep on a witch's bosom, nor let her limbs ensnare you, for she will not bring an early harvest. I, uh, bosoms that? Uh, no. I'm afraid I don't know what that means, Abel. There. Have I not answered all your questions? I thank you for your candor, Bearstan. You have put my mind somewhat at ease. Aye, indeed. Good. With that, we are concluded, my lords. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have much to discuss with my wife. I wasn't paying attention That's enough. Dear, prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Bjerstan, whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. 
All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Birsten. Are you not worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! She does as she must. As do I. But you... You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I am too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Ulvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Well... Um, I suppose I need to choose one. Old wounds, chocolate soup. I feel like getting Estrid gone before Alfreda comes. Is the better play in my head, anyways? Okay, what was I working on? This one. And of course there's guards that I need to circumvent. 
I could probably just go around the whole thing and not actually be in here at all. This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. Let me talk to the shop first. Welcome! This could come in very handy. I'm only buying these because I like you. Sure you are. Take care of yourself out there. You like that? It could be yours. Oh, Increase critical chance the lighter you are. Mm. Armor, block, build up fire damage. Oh, it's good to have. Let's get more iron ore, because I always need more of that. Always. These will come in very okay. handy. Leaving already? Shame. I'm off. You well, friend. Okay. Sona Shalich Farin. There you are, Abel. Over here. There we I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You have lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. And what of our plan, the Great Lama's Kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one. And her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain... Who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon. A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome. And cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that the light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. I who are you? To join this crew. There is I don't always know who need you. for raiders. My chance will come. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I will bring him round by force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lamas Festival. Uh. Rollo! Uh. Please, 
I'm just a poor <laughs> Christian brother with nothing left to give. <laughs> Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. <clears throat> Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! <laughs> we found oh, your fun. Your friends are all trusted. What? No one's out here now. Surrender, the imprudent. Oh my goodness gracious. I may be drunk, but you are as ugly as a hog. What was that? Your warriors found better lodgings under our lock and key. Surrender to Rollo Longshanks! Brother, come here! I... Oh my goodness. Not good enough. Ah. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Oh yeah, you're not the... You're not going very fast. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Saxon bastards! Rollo the imprudent? I'll show them. I'll be Rollo the Gelder soon enough. Or Rollo the Screamer if you don't keep it down. Was it you who gave Eva the Boneless his name? I hear talk of his deeds around the campfire, but his name I never understood. He was boneless before I met him. Now he's bones on a pyre, that's all I know for sure. And King Alfred? Can you imagine their king in the sky blanket tear sands our lands? He'd be bluer than my father on nights the mead is strong. He'd fall asleep in the snow with a dog keeping him warm. Ah, this talk makes me long for the old times. The good old times. I'll just, once I'm out of town, I'll beat him there, maybe. But this is the way it's wanting me to go, so. And I do not see him. So I will be him there. But he's teleported there already. 
he'll be there before I get there. Because game logic. Questions are full. Oh, no, I did actually beat him. Okay. No. What is this? Why? It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor? Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked yeah. us. And the... Lork, yes? What is your story? You want to hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hang. Did you see anything at all? Geralt, talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. You must tire of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting and all hell broke loose. Hmm... I have what I need for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo... Gerhild, is it? I, Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You were not here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rollo's favorite. Who are you to Rollo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rollo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. Log accused you of treachery. He saw you with the Saxon. Log? You believe that old crow? His bones crumble and his mind wanders with age. Or he wallows in jealousy. Take your pick. That is all for now. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked mm. us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. I might find some evidence to test their stories. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Where else? Ah, just... Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting, as Lorch did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. 
She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lork saw her with a Saxon. She claimed he was her lover. Yet she has berated me many times for taking Estrid to my bed. I did not think her a hypocrite. Lork said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. So they both have motive for having the Saxons attack. They both were not at camp when it happened. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. think about this. So, Lork wanted him, wanted this guy gone to be rid of the blood oath that he made to his father. Gerhild was being a hypocrite and taking a Saxon to bed when she complained about him doing the same thing. But she made the oath to him, not his father. So I feel like out of the two of them, it would be Lork, not Gerhild. Hmm. where my thought process is going anyways because out of what we've heard from both of them and the evidence we've found around camp because neither of them needed to be hunting especially if Gerhild is a terrible shot apparently and has been since childhood I feel like she was with her Saxon lover And Lork was the one that started the Saxon invasion. Lork betrayed you. Lies! And curse you, boy, for letting this outsider sway your heart. A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. And there again, can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. He served my father, but he always thought me a callow lackbeard. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help. After they are free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. I told you I was loyal. How dare you doubt me? Forgive me, Gerhild. But even now, there are some who will. You should make yourself scarce for a while. There we go. I tried to loot those Chester. guys for quite if some you time. And I go take a look, shall we? I am sorry that your people suffer, Rolo. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. Oh, that was just food. Okay.
to the quest objective. Ah, network error, but hold on. Maybe it's just on my end. Probably was just on my end. I don't know. At least it wasn't an OBS crash. That would have been more annoying. So, how is... What's his bucket? Yay, Barlark is away. I should not be seen in this area. Where did he go? Is he really just that slow on the horse? <laughs> I have no clue where he is. He keeps bringing out his hammer and then putting it away. It's quite hilarious. I don't know if that's his horse. Or a horse from the camp. I mean, the quest doesn't require him to be around. Rolo's men, caged like plump hens. Eh, don't stuff on fire. Or jump onto him. That's that 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 works too, I guess. It's not what I was intending, but okay, it works. So I don't know what that sound was. What is that sound?
Goodbye. Many thanks, friend. Later. Let's give the ravens oh, a feast of Saxon right blood! Thing. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay, there was no reason to go in there. There's no reason to go in here, and my game freezes. Hold on. Waiting. Oh, it crashed. <sighs> okay. Well, it's loading again. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, that that is a very annoying part of the game as well. Jumping off, and there's a hay bale or pile right there, but you go not to it and. Then you die. Yeah, I've done that a few times. Very annoying. Every single time. Okay. And now we wait for the load. Again. Uh, 
Okay, this is a little ways back. Just just a little bit. Yeah, that yeah. That would be quite annoying as well. Oh, it's just marking all the Danes. Okay, that's what the sound is there. Was it just the one dude here? Apparently. Goodbye. My thanks. I'm in your debt. What would coming in here do for you? The bell. We must ring the bell. No. The answer is no. Ain't no bell for you to ring now. Let's give the ravens a feast of Saxon blood! Hey, Fenrir, gnaw on your bone! Goodbye. Oh, there's a guy right there. My sword will bring you sleep. Ah. Uh. Well, how oh, awaits us? Uh. Goodbye. All the way up there. And okay. Oh, wait, there is one more. That was strange. He's dead. My sword will bring you sleep.
Um, thank you. I did not want to be stuck there. Wow, um, this, this guy has his foot going through his body. Ow. Okay, now he doesn't. <laughs> that looked very painful. I didn't! I got it out of his body! God damn you! God what is am I me. getting covered in? Alright, one last one, I think. Up there. And the Danes are literally just standing around. Yeah, it only awaits you if you uh, actually do the thing. Hello. This way. Because he obviously wouldn't hear me groaning and grunting. Rolo's men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. want the cutscene. I wanted to go down. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Yeah, but sure. Raven totally. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea Shh. to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout hearted in this, whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lama's festival. So there. Skill points. Door locked. There's treasure over here. And to think there was, I thought there was no reason to come in this one. Well, I didn't 
quite want to come all the way down. Who's there? Yes, I know the wealth twinkling, but where, oh where, is the key? It's up there, where I almost was. We did get some snow. I don't know quite how much snow, because I haven't been outside, or even looked outside, this morning. There's the key. Wait, what was that? Oh, just carry. Okay. I don't want to carry. Seriously? The other side must be barred. You think? Hmm. Is there anything actually still here? I'm way up here. Oh, not really. Okay. So I can come back to Club Chester. After I gain the skill points. Up here. Believe I can see all skill trees. Yes, I can. Okay. You know, I didn't look at the quests. Alright. So now, to do this one, apparently. Just go this way. Every day my loins wither with waiting. When will he come to me? God doesn't give a rat's ass about your love life. Then do it for the money. I know a few things about love. Do you? Or did you hear the chime of my coin purse? Does it matter? No. Not when the village children pelt my door with vegetables. Call me old maid and witch. You need someone to protect you from children. Leave your scorn. There is a man. We have been secretly betrothed for years. But his father refuses our union. So you will kidnap him and make it look good. His house is near here, surrounded by red flowers. Oh, wait. I will kidnap him? You will know my love by his red hair. 
And try not to kill his father. That will put a damper on our happy day. I will roast wow. him at ten. The, um... Or a stew. Would he like that? People of... Essex. Have a lot of quests to kidnap their loves. Surrounded by red flowers, this must be her love's house. I am here from your love. Who are you? That's the spirit. Let us make your father believe the fiction. Why? What? What is this? I, the dread viking or Eivor, have come to steal your sons. You'll be with her soon. I have a feeling this guy has no clue about this and doesn't actually like her. Please. Maybe. Please. That's it. Keep up the act. Him gently down. So there. Who are you? What is this? Hush, my love. All will be well. Well, wait. So this boy is your lover, or no? He will be. I have watched him for many turns of the sun. And now he will know of my burning love. Thanks to you. You watched me? That is so strange and unnatural. Romantic. That you would go to such lengths to win my heart. It touches me in places I cannot speak of. You have my thanks, Dane. Take your reward and leave us. Plow me, Sokwa. Side the weeds from my field. Okay. So, kind of what I thought is he had no clue about it. <laughs> that was... a thing, apparently. How can I get that one? Oh, cause it, uh, the line right there. Got it. Well then, that was quite the quest. I don't know where my wolf was trying to go.
Okay. Yeah, I could have just stayed on my wolf to come over this way. Will Olvida remember a lover from so long ago? Would I? Oh, there's, uh, Alfred's guards here. Okay, she's in... over there. Hello and welcome. Pretty sure... This oh, could be okay. very useful. Day has reset. Glad to replenish your stock. I wish there was an easy way to get to the 200. You always bring the strangest things. I have literally never come to you, so how can I always bring the strangest Nothing things? Else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Okay. Was it here? No, it's show me. Over here. Okay. <gasps> Up. Some more. The last house in Malden. All of it should be here. Now it's restricted. Okay. Um. We've got the woman we came for. Leave that lackbeard to lick his wounds. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Okay. What do you see? If I'm in the right area... But it's either in this place or the other. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? 
I've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. So there is these two things that I'm gonna get before. What the heck was that? I don't know. That was weird. Pick them up. Thank you. Show me what lies ahead. I hit the wanted C. Synchronize. Okay, where be the armor? Oh, okay. Behind the explodable wall. Okay. I totally just walked into the back of that guy. No, thank you. See, I like when I'm on the horse because they just part ways and don't bother me. That sound. Almost you. It was you. It was pale as midnight mist. Please, my love, you must forgive me. I, I cannot sleep. I cannot eat. Who do you speak to? There's no one here. We were together now, wife. You, you will never leave my side, whispering in my ear like a moth's wings. 
Where is that wailing coming from? It is as if the walls are crying out in anguish. This man is haunted by some terrible deed. You saw it was you! You blew up on the threads and they severed! She, she is gone! Dust and bones! Dust and bones! You have done some mischief here. I can smell the guilt in your bloody flesh. No! No! What have you... He okay. his love. Little wonder he's crazed with guilt. And continue on. I have to go a little ways. I might stop at the artifact though. Yeah, it's not a mite. I probably will. Oh, it's a cursed hey, one, I think. No! Get the murdered heathen! Really? You lovers need help. Something is wrong. Foul. Cursed. Up in the tree. There we go. Phew. That's better. Destroying Angel. No, thank you. Alright. And on to... <laughs> I can't hardly see in the mist that's around. No, you're not going to kill me. Need to cloak myself here. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Okay, way over there. The gods here are vigilant. No kidding. I kept seeing me.
Man, that guy walks slow. The roof of this place is really getting in the way and annoying. I've got nothing. No, you moved. Why is everyone moving? It didn't hit him. How annoying. Goodbye. Over there. Remain steadfast. <laughs> 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 There we go.
he doesn't know where I am. Let's get rid of that. This key should unlock Alveda's cage. This must be Beerston's love, Alveda. They haven't broken her spirit. And goodbye. Hell. Quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's. Okay. Let's press the right button so I can get my mount. My bones ache. My ankle, oh, the pain. Beat me. Bless the saints. Here you are, sister, safe and well. Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. And the bonfire just lit itself. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshine milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. 
of him. Dear old Pearson, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. And this young lad is Elevich, Olivida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Fearstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Bairston. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Bairston. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest the long, slow walk around the lake. A long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Fearston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. Okay. Now. This is Brent. Okay. Can you worry about that later? Ooh, I want to get that, and then I'll head over to Colchester. Alright, so, uh, that button. <laughs> Map marker, please. Okay. But before I continue, there's new things. Oh yeah, the new shield. Okay. Skills. Which one was I? This one. Okay. And continue! does have a road that leads to it mostly, doesn't it? Well, I could just go across the land and be faster. Here. Maybe. with the world. Yourselves. Why the wailing? We are a band of bards ahead of our time, musical prodigies even. But that madman, the self-proclaimed bishop of the ruins, is our biggest critic. He calls our playing the devil's bagpipes. That strange instrument made of bladder and bone. It does wheeze like an old woman. He drives away our audience with his doom knelling. All we want is to bring a little joy to this jilted generation. A worthy aim. Maybe he needs convincing of your talents. 
You would volunteer? Ah, you are a lover of fine music. This is surely an omen. Renounce your perverted ways! Why not let the boy play music? He brings pleasure to the people. Music is the devil's wind breaking. Foul and rancid. I, as the Bishop of the Ruins, will not stand for it. Bishop of the Ruins? Is this title Alfred given? It is God given. He spoke to me as I stood one night pissing against the stones. I am his instrument to stamp out the devil's tune. Then you and I must disagree. Uh huh. You have done us a great service. I will compose this day into song. Farewell. May you continue to make merry harmonies. Smack my bishop. Smack my bishop. Okay. That was. Interesting. Wait. Yeah. Now oh, there was crates. Need up there. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, the Roman artifact. Okay. Alright, and with that, I need to run to the bathroom, so I will be right back.
Alright, I am back. Hello. This button. Fine, I'll go to the inventory so it doesn't do that. So I pause the music that I forgot to pause. Right, I was going to teleport to Colchester. Hello? Thank you. Yummy. Ah, he's over there still. Okay. That was weird. Trying to look that way. Where are you going, Eivor? Ow. 
Ow. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Lork's death hit hard. Many served long with him and relished his tales of warriors lost and battles won. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrit, that is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. Hmm. <laughs> What are you stuck on? Oh my goodness. the rest of the people or attack the guy that I wasn't facing stand down you Saxon dogs the lady of Essex is ours do the thing thank you Stand down, you Saxon dogs. The Lady of Essex. Really, is ours. what is going on? Why does literally no one help me? This is what we do to Saxon gods. We kill it. Kill it and land it. Attack the other guards while I tie her up. Or not. Be stupid and nice. Um. Hello? Oh my gosh. Game! Why does the NPCs not attack? They're literally just standing there not doing anything. And they're going to keep spawning. Let me carry her and run away. You're coming with me. Oh, oh, desist, you foul Dane. Guards, oh, woe unto me. Put me down. Old in spirit. You wouldn't fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend. Uh. Unhand me, you filthy Dane. This Put her down. And again, where the heck are the rest of the Danes? Oh 
wanted you to put her on the wolf. I pressed alt to dodge. Where are you going? I'm literally attacking someone else, and it turns around to attack someone else. I just want to do the quest. Let me do the freaking quest. Really? Game, come on! Literally press alt to dodge, and it doesn't dodge until after I get hit. And then no one else is around. Together, lads, we have this! I wasn't anywhere near the point of the pike. Are you freaking kidding me? Where the heck did he just come from? Alas, alas. We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Who assigned those guards to you? Yes, you noticed as well. That was Thane Adred. He insisted. He does worry for me so. Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? Where were you when I was getting her out? <sighs> it is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rollo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstands will not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate. Let's get you some mead. Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Those Saxon milk. I should find Pearson. No doubt he's hunting again. <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trick. That Frankish princess better not turn her nose up at me. I can't wait to be free of this swamp hole. Okay. Get my skill point. I was just finished. I guess I'll get this one. Since I'm most of the way with it anyways. Alright, secure your alliance with Beerstem. Okay. I don't dislike this guy as much as I thought I would. I thought I would absolutely not like them. And run along the road again. Well, wait, what is that? Yeah. Interesting icon. I don't think I've seen it before. <laughs> I go faster up the hill by myself. But I feel like there is a way down. Oh, now it's up. I'm confused. I'm confused where this thing is. I have no clue where this is leading me.
Yeah. Not in the water. This looks like an old cellar. The air reeks of stale wine. Are those barrels still full? A shaft. I can see something at the bottom, but it's out of my reach. Seriously, hey, well, fine. Just shoot it. Wine has filled the shaft, bearing my prize with it. I should be able to reach it now. A drinking horn. It looks valuable. A good find, I think. Oh, the wine is spilling. Interesting. getting stuck on. Yay, Roman artifact. Come on, come on the mouth.
a man, his dog, and the outdoors. What greater pleasure can there be than this? Oh, there he is. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your things asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch, sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! Come, Eivor, we must make haste! There is. Because hunting is totally what you should be doing. What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress. Beerston, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance will be worthless. Have no fear. I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lamas. Will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more Dane. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands. I trust in your judgment. And how is Alvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here. Okay. If you say so. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. No, oh, hush up. Fearsome beasts, but tasty. Come on, the feast table won't fill itself. He'll make a delicious roast. I only need to kill one itself. more. Oh, hush up, dude. I'm doing all the work. Two more? Three more? No, no, no. Your bow arm aches. You did nothing.
and I'm out of ammo. Okay. A good hunt, Beerston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch, and they are as voracious as wolves snatching at my carcass. They may give you grief, but I have been nothing but amused. They're a welcome change to worrying Jarls and piss sudden politics. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I thank you from the bottom of a heart full up with joy. Beerstan, the heart hound who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not know why I keep you in my employ. What are your plans for Essex and your family? There is much that is new. In Hurry back, Beerston. I will join you later for the feast. Thank you. No love for you, no love for me. Go. Back here. Out of options, John. <laughs> what is he hiding? Just to be tung and burum? <laughs> Monya. And, and look, he's already here. You promised we would never be apart, not for one waking or sleeping moment, and already you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt, one that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Elreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet. A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that lamish shadow play. Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still. His wife freshly stolen. And you are no more than... Is... I am the mother of his child, you well. Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never. <laughs> my lord, joyous news. God smiles upon us this very day. Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak.
No. Brother. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. I had a feeling something wasn't quite right, especially since he was 19 winters and they've been apart for 20. Are you leering at me, Lord? Your Beerstons hide, Dane. Do not think what you did went unseen. Yet tell me one thing. Is Estrid safe and happy? She is happy. That much I know. Good. Now leave. And if we meet again, you will fall by my sword. <laughs> Estrid should have ruled this land. I would have followed her anywhere. All the way back here. Goodness gracious. Poor excuse for a plot when it can be undone this easily. Hun, get down. Thank you. Stop that Estrid is so close to freedom. I hope I'm not too late. Rolo! Alfred's men have found you! What? Found us how? Were we betrayed? Gerhild, you protect Estrid. If she's taken, all is lost for Beerston. They will skewer us like suckling pigs. Saxons! We have your whore queen! Come take her! Gerhild, you fetid blood blister! Was it you? Oh. Treacherous she wolf! Damn you! Was I wrong Ruined with days. who was. If she's unharmed, we may let some of you live! Who the traitor was? Protect Astrid! Prepare the ship! Remain steadfast! Oh my goodness gracious. Really? Game? Really? Are you serious? What the heck? Fine. A waste of stupid adrenaline. Because that's totally who I was aiming for. I've got this. Work around the back. Your Please break you. Uh. 
Man, these guys are really not... Really? Aiming! Looking at someone completely different. And it just turns around and starts fighting someone else. Not who I was aiming for. Again! Who the heck are you going after? What is going on with the camera? Face the guy! I've revived this guy three times now. I did not walk through fire! The amount of guys that seriously need help, these guys are not. <laughs> worth their weight in silver. With how much time, how many times I've had to revive them. Eivor! Estrid! Gods! Gerhild the traitor? I should have listened to my gut. I always hated the way she carried herself, glared at me. This is my fault, Esther. They were probably both my traitors. Alone. Stop chiding yourself, Rollo. You could not have known it would come to this. Can you move? I can pull the arrow from you, but I fear what pain it will cause. I can stand, if I can lean upon you, Rollo. If we stay here, we die. Come, sweet bird. I'll take you to the ship and we'll tend your wounds. You will see Frankia yet. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty and shall not wither. Take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will welcome you in my hall. Estrid's wound was grave, but she'll live long enough to see the shores of Frankia. If only that. Birsten got his end of the bargain, and Estrid is to Frankia. I should return to Ranvi. Yay! Complete! I'm just glad I don't have to deal with Dag anymore, still.
more skill points. Eivor. In Essex, I play the matchmaker and the heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Pledge complete. Essex. I now have Rollo. There is a note. From Dearston. I get a bow. The Ark of Ellen Hunter bow. Interesting. Let us see what it is. This one, a uh, hunter bow. Dang, that's actually... Okay, let's look at that one so I can compare the two and not go back and forth and try to remember what the numbers are. Um, That's pretty much just all around better. Heal points. Which one? This one. Where did it go? Let's aim for it, I guess. Good boy. Oh, that is chewy. I thought that was a rock. <laughs> okay. Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? I feel like you're proud, Bob. Look how strong you are. Oh, and it's already fully upgraded? Well, dying. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> Are you fully upgraded, Hunter Bow? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Ready for battle. I have to go. See you soon. Be well, my friend. Okay. I feel like I have enough resources to make another building. So let me 
find a building. Fowl farm. Okay, I do not have enough raw materials to build anything. Alright, I think I am going to call it here. Um, my head is starting to hurt and I am getting hungry, so I will save here and end for today so let's go to this screen and figure out who to raid let's see here It looks like out of the ones that I am following, I really only want to go to one. So let's go there. Let's get the raid message. If you would copy that to send to whoever we raid. You can put forward slash me in front of it to change the color of it to the same as your name. Just like so. And we shall raid. Same person we've raided the last several days. So. Raiding Breezy on it. And I will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I hope to see y'all then. And thank you so much for stopping by today.